Hello everybody, Jake your resident content cowboy here, yeehaw, and one of the new items coming to Pokemon Unite is the Rapid Fire Scarf. This seems to be kind of crazy. So it increases your Pokemon's basic attack speed by 30% for a short time after three basic attacks, and then it goes on sort of an internal cooldown before it can do that again. But wow, you could set up some amazing things with this item. Let me show you just a few examples in this video and let me know what Pokemon you think would work best with this in the comments below. First, let me just show you this item in action. So once you start attacking three times, you can see it pops up in the bottom there. The shorter cooldown is how long the item is active. And then the longer time there is how long until the item is active again. Now it can be activated again. Boom, third attack, here we go. And you have this increase in your attack speed. So that is how this item works. It has sort of two cooldowns that you see below. One is just letting you know, hey, this item is working now. And the other is letting you know, hey, before this item works again, it has a longer internal cooldown. I haven't timed it, but I should have, and there's a clock right above me, so I'm sure I could have the correct amount of time on the screen right now. Did I do it? Did I put it on the screen? Let me show you one combination with this that is going to be insane, and that's its Unite move. You can use your Unite move and then quickly hit multiple hits with your Rapid Fire Scarf. I mean, Tyranitar could be absolutely insane with this item. You'll just need to time it correctly, but once you do, oh my gosh, just imagine throwing out this Unite at rapid pace. Obviously, I did not time that correctly right there. Let me do it again. Boom, boom, hit your Unite, and then Go, bang, 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 bang. I'm using bangs as a sound effect now. Do you like my new sound effects? Let me know in the comments. A Pokemon that jumps to mind right away with this is Alolan Ninetales. I mean, just the thought of being able to increase your attack speed, not only with Aurora Veil, but also with this rapid fire scarf to turn into a crazy machine gun that also freezes the enemy and slows them. It could be really, really cool here, especially if you get your timing on it right. That was obviously not great timing for me right there. But if you set it up to where you're inside the Aurora Veil while your scarf is active, I mean, just rapid fire icicle machine guns at the enemy. Yeah, it could be really cool. A Pokemon that this could be really good for is Dragapult. Already you want this Pokemon to be attacking faster, so as soon as you get that rapid fire scarf, it could be great. This is gonna work really well with Phantom Force, but also take a look at Dragon Dance right here. You could be attacking, use your Dragon Dance, and then all of a sudden your Dragon Dance is going to proc your Rapid Fire Scarf. So while you're flying around in Dragon Dance, you're actually attacking faster. Let me get you a better view of it right here as we circle this right like that. I mean, look at that. That could be really, really crazy. This Pokemon already is gonna be really, really cool. But yeah, that's gonna be exciting to test out for sure. Look at that, look at it go. I feel like Garchomp is just kind of in love right now with a lot of these new items. Let's talk about Rapid Fire Scarf on it. So Rapid Fire Scarf, after three, it's going to start proccing your faster attacking and you're going to get to your boosted attack, meaning you're gonna kind of become this crazy menace here. So you hit three, your boosted attack is now coming. I mean, yeah, normally it's fast. Normally it's fast. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. This could just be crazy on Garchomp. Just crazy. This is, of course, no surprise. Decidueye is a great Pokemon for this. I mean, just look at this right here. Even at a small level, look how fast you're attacking at level one right here once you activate your Scarf. So this could be a really cool Pokemon for this. And also it activates right away because it kind of is based on how many of these little quills hit. So watch it activate after one boosted essentially right here. It's gonna go off cooldown and boom, it's right back. This could be huge on Decidueye. For fun, let's see it at level 15. Oh man. Oh man. This is just gonna be so mean. And with Razor Leaf on, why not? Oof. Oof. This is purely for educational purposes right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This could just be so freaking wild. I might KO everything before it comes back up. No, it's coming back up. Woo! Ooh, Decidueye. 
Ooh, Decidueye. The health is lower on Rayquaza right now because of the timing of the map, I believe. So don't take this to mean anything. I just wanted to see what would happen here. <laughs> yeah, the health's like low right now. But I mean, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. Here's one you might not expect, but could be really cool, is Eldegoss. It already performs really well in Path because of its basics, and now just being able to attack at a rapid clip could be really nice for this Pokemon. And I actually think early on, this could just be, yeah, like such a menace to deal with. So another one that you might not expect could be someone like Pikachu, who does really well with just a ton of early basic attacks with its muscle man. And basically having this rapid fire scarf up just sets up multiple opportunities for you to KO the enemy right here. Whoop. Poke, poke, poke. Oh, he's running away. Shedinja doll. Just so you know, I have tested Cramorant and it doesn't appear to increase the speed at which its Unite move spits out attacks. So could have been pretty cool, but it doesn't look like it works on Cram that way. Glaceon could be a really cool one. First of all, with Swift, it almost procs immediately, kind of just like Decidueye, just based on how many of the Swifts hit. So you actually get this nice attack speed boost early, which could be really, really good in path. And then of course, Glaceon crits, so you're able to use this with really any build that you want to throw at it. Ice Shard especially. Turning on your Ice Shard and then getting this extra boost on your attacks is just really nice. A really nice speed boost. You can charge up your Icicle Spear faster. And then of course, afterwards, once you get your plus on Ice Shard, you actually get another boost of attack speed. So this could get really, really mean really fast. Right here, this is just your basic attacks on Glaceon. This is just Glaceon's basic attacks, just throwing lots of crits at the enemy. And now we use Ice Shard on top of it for this incredible increased attack speed. Look at that. Woo. Could be really, really nice and really good for just charging up your crystals very fast too. Might be a bit of overkill, probably don't need it, but could be fun. It doesn't look like it works on Duraludon's flash cannon, but it works on Duraludon just in general. I mean, this is crazy. Drain Crown. The Drain Crown, which is right over there, is a really interesting item. It restores HP up to 10% of the damage dealt with your attack-based basic attacks. So there are a few Pokemon that this could work very, very well with. This feels like a very specific item, but a really cool new addition coming to Pokemon Unite. It also gives you HP and attack just as base stats right here. Let's talk about a few Pokemon that this will work well with, and maybe a few that you haven't thought of yet. One of the first Pokemon that probably springs to mind when you see this item is Garchomp. This Pokemon already gets Life Steal. It already gets it off its boosted attacks, and now you're going to give it another way to recover health just as it rips through enemies. It's already doing pretty well in the meta right now, and Drain Crown feels like a no-brainer for this Pokemon. Look, I'm three levels lower than Slowbro right here, and I'm just able to stand here and trade the entire time. It really feels like this item was made for Garchomp, and it totally could be the case. I think there are some other really cool Pokemon that could use this well, but this feels like, yeah, you're gonna wanna try Drain Crown on Garchomp. I mean, just imagine when you're a level 15 Garchomp and you start ripping into people with your boosteds. I mean, just, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so incredibly mean. Look at that, you're healing hundreds per hit. Oh, oh Garchomp, you are going to be a mean, mean boy. As if you aren't already. Yeah, Drain Crown on Garchomp could be sick. Another Pokemon that of course springs to mind is Decidueye. Razor Leaf Decidueye. I mean, once you get to level 13, you already have 25% life seal. And now you're getting even more with this move, able to life seal against multiple enemies around you. It could be amazing for this Pokemon if you're able to brawl with this. Of course, Decidueye is still very squishy. So there is a question as to whether or not this is going to heal you enough quickly enough, but it could be a huge game changer for this. Look at all this lifesteal. I mean, look at this. Oh, it's just so nice. Wow, you get so much health so fast. You just get so much health so fast. I, this could be an amazing item for this Pokemon. And I know everyone wants a way for Razor Leaf to become even better. And geez, geez, this could be really, really good on Decidueye. Let's see how quick we can get to full. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> if you're around multiple enemies, I mean, wow, you just, wow, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, this could be really cool. Another very mean Pokemon could be Flail Snorlax. Flail is a really interesting build, and once it gets its upgrade, you already get Lifesteal. Now imagine pairing that with a Drain Crown. Basically, you do more damage the lower your HP is already, so this just kind of keeps you in the fight longer. It could be really cool on this Pokemon. I mean, really cool. Also, pair this with a, you know, the new Scarf, and then you're just throwing a ton of punches and healing the entire time. Look at how much you're healing for. 600 on a single basic attack? Like, woo, woo. This could be really, really cool on a Pokemon like Snorlax. Let's just watch how fast our health comes back here. Flail, beautiful. I mean, look at all that. And you gotta imagine, Snorlax's health is huge. I'm a level 14 right now, so this health pool is massive. And it's just coming, oh, come on. You're gonna unite me here? I'm gonna yawn you. I'm gonna yawn you. I'm gonna flail you. Let's go, buddy. Come on, crits. I don't have any crit emblems set up on this, but I do have a skull lens because I love critting on this build. Punch, 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 punch. Oh my gosh, 2300 <laughs> crit. Let's go. This is so fun. Oh, this could be so fun. The brawling you could do with this, just insane. Insane. Another really interesting choice could be Aqua Tail Azumarill. You already get healing when you hit from a distance with your Aqua Tail boosted attack, but now you're getting even more. So you can see the two pops of healing right there. Three, because I KO'd a wild Pokemon. But you get the pop from the Drain Crown as well as what you normally get from the boosts. The boost is actually huge healing. I'm calling them boosts, but the upgraded basic attacks that you do. It's already a ton of healing, but now you're gonna get even more if you run a Drain Crown. This could be a huge item for this build specifically. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough or if you're gonna wanna run something else. Again, there are other new items coming that are also very cool, but this could be a ton of additional healing. Take that, slow bro, you big jerk. Look at that healing, oh my gosh. It's, oh my gosh, it could be so good. Oh, it could be so good. All right, here is me getting my health back. Beautiful. Now, you get a lot of health back already with Aqua Tail, but the extra little pops of healing, they don't hurt at all. Another cool choice could be a Pokemon like Buzzwool. Someone who already gets Life Steal and heals off its boosted attack, and now you're just increasing that even further with a Drain Crown. I mean, there are a lot of really fun options with this item. I can't wait to see what happens once it comes to the full game here, I think in just a couple days. I mean, can you imagine a Buzzwool with Leech Life and additional healing? It's still probably not the best build, but I mean, come on, it sounds fun. Let me know what Pokemon you're most excited to try this item on in the comments below. There are a lot that I want to test out still. Aegislash sounds super fun. I mean, with its massive boosted attacks, I think there's a lot you could do with that. And I can't wait to get it into the real game and see how it performs. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I love you. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.